The Adventures of Twenty Five and Two by Maria Kling. It was finally graduation day for Twenty Five and Two. They sat with their enormous graduating class and waited in anticipation for the chance to get to walk across the stage and finally graduate from Multiplication Middle School. The graduation from middle school happens to be a really big deal for numbers. At the ceremony, each number walks across the calculator and officially becomes a square root. This means they are all now equivalent to two equal factors of their original number. In order to show that they had graduated middle school and become a square root, the students received the honorable radical sign. This sign showed the world that they were now a positive square root. So every student was so proud to finally get the chance to put on their radical sign. Twenty-five had been a perfect square his entire life. This means he was a square of two integers, which happened to be five in his case. His family was very well known in their town for being perfect squares. His parents were thirty-six and forty-nine, and his grandparents were sixty-four and eighty-one. Since twenty-five got a lot of attention for being a perfect square, he was a little afraid of what would happen when he finally went to Hyperbolic High as a square root. After an entire summer, he finally went to high school with his best friend too. Things changed though. Ever since they got their radical signs, two and twenty-five never hung out anymore. They never went to movies or even played basketball after school. They went their separate ways and joined different groups of numbers. Two stuck with the irrational numbers. This was a group of numbers that cannot be expressed as fractions, and had decimals that didn't terminate or repeat. He became friends with the school bully Pi, and they always picked on the group Twenty Five was in. The group Twenty Five had become a member of was known as the rational numbers. These numbers were known as the teacher's pets around Hyperbolic High. Because they were perfect and could be expressed as fractions, one day Pi asked Two to help him stuff twenty-five in a locker. Two agreed and went with Pi to find twenty-five and the other rationals. Two went to stuff twenty-five in a locker. When twenty-five spoke up and said, "Look, guys, we are all real numbers, so why can't we just get along?" Two paused for a minute and said, "Yeah." The set of rational numbers and the set of irrational numbers together make up the set of real numbers. Why are we fighting? From that day on, there were no rational numbers or irrational numbers at Hyperbolic High. There was only one huge group of real numbers. The end.